Hey Real Tubes, it's Kendra and it's Tuesday night. I apologize for making this video so late, but it was my day off and I made the most of it. So um, here I am talking to you about healthy food and exercise tips. And what I think is most important for me personally for my lifestyle is purchasing food at the grocery store that I'm going to be able to eat wherever I am. Um, purchasing things where I can make a lot of it and then storing it so I have it throughout the week and also having things that are good healthy snacks um, for myself for the um, for the I don't know a couple of weeks that my groceries last. So um, I'm big on granola, yogurt, I make smoothies a lot um, I I like things that are portable but nutritious so um, I also try to not have so much packaging waste so I would rather buy in bulk and then um, use like a you know a reusable container um, also when I go to restaurants I, unless I didn't know ahead of time that I was going, but I will bring a container with me to the restaurant. So then um, I can just bring home the container, um, my own container, and then I don't have that um, styrofoam or cardboard waste. Um, that's a little bit unrelated, but still, it's important to me, so that's what I do. Um, I always have a water bottle with me, so I'm always hydrated because um, it's it's very important to stay hydrated. Um, I actually just made some granola tonight with my friend Tracy and it was her recipe and I guess I can email her and get the recipe from her and then I can post it in the comments on this video so that you can have it. It was really good. We improvised a bit but I can let you know the changes that we made. Um, and as far as exercising goes, um, I don't really have any great tips necessarily other than exercise when you have nothing else to do because it kind of at least for me it gives me the motivation to do more and though I probably shouldn't admit this when I'm at work and the store is really dead I do push-ups and wall sits and that little bit that I'm getting in is really nice. Like, I'm getting pretty toned in my arms, which which I'm kind of proud of, and I like it. And I'm also getting sort of tan, so I just like, like, yes, I look like it's summer out, even though it's been like 57 degrees for the last three days here. What's up with that? Um, also kind of going back to environmental impact. How can you not know that there's climate change? Like, how can you be oblivious to that? Sorry, unrelated. Back to the point. Um, so exercise when you have nothing better to do. Do some sit-ups or um, lift something sort of heavy. Do a few reps. Put it back down. Um, cleaning. When I clean, like a hardcore clean, I'm burning so many calories, I'm certain of it. So do some cleaning. Like, um, choose the stairs instead of the elevator. You know, all of those little things. There are a lot of things you can do. Also, my friend Tracy just gave me her bike. Um, I have a bike of my own, but the back rim is bent and so it catches on the brakes and it just doesn't ride well. So now I have a new bike and I'm gonna... I apologize, there's a plane going past. I'll wait. I don't know if you can even hear that, but I have my bedroom window open and I live less than a mile away from the um, Minneapolis airport so I hear planes a lot anyway um, 
So now I have a new bike that runs really well. And so tomorrow I open at work and I'm going to bring my bike with me on the bus. I'll put it on the front of the bus, lock it up, and then when I'm done, I am totally going to conquer riding home. And, you know, I'm not quite sure even how many miles that is, but it's got to be at least four. But I honestly don't know. So, yeah, um, I don't know, just the best tip I have really is just bring half stuff with you to stay hydrated and nourished and also like exercise when you have downtime. Those are my tips. All right. I hope that you have an awesome week and I will see you again on Tuesday. All right. Bye.